Katie, tell me about this new exciting product. But this is a cold climate heat pump. So it works really efficiently and with a high capacity in colder temperatures. So heat pump can do heating and cooling, right? There's a reversing valve that sends the hot refrigerant either inside or outside. So when it's cold outside, you want to heat up, you want hot inside. So it's sending hot refrigerant inside and then you run um, a blower past that, that's how you heat your home. But when it's really hot and humid in the summertime, you reverse that. So then you have the hot refrigerant outside and then like you Like an ERV? Yeah, same idea. That's what I thought. Yeah, same okay. idea. So regardless of you know what application a heat pump's a heat pump, it'll send the heat where it needs to go. Outside, when it's really hot outside, you want the inside to be cold. What's the BTUs on this? Um, so this one is a four ton, so around 48,000. And it'll run at 100% capacity down to five degrees. Whereas most of the equipment today only goes about 70% capacity I heard at that. five degrees. So that ability to still have high capacity, not have your capacity drop off when it gets really cold outside, something that this equipment's great at. So you are as excited as me to see this. Absolutely. What are the benefits of using this? Well, we're seeing a shift, we're calling it electrification, right? A shift away from using natural gas towards electric sources. So the rest of our IDS um, portfolio, right, works in heating and cooling, but you start to lose some efficiency and capacity the colder it gets outside. Right. So we have some customers in more northern climates, Canada, these areas, um, that needed a product that'll work with a higher capacity and efficiency in those colder temperatures. So if you want to use electricity, clean electricity, heat pump technology, you're going to need something that can work in those really cold temperatures. Another thing it has is demand response capability. So when we shift away from using gas products to electricity in the winter time, um, your grid can only take so much electricity to be all used, all used at once, right? So the utility company can say, hey, everybody's using electricity at the same time. And instead of using it when everyone else is using it, use it beforehand or use it after. So preheat my home or heat my home after the peak demand and that'll save them money potentially based on the utility. Brilliant, brilliant. We're yep. just getting better every day, aren't we? Absolutely. I love this. Okay, so I, you know I need one in my house. I'm hearing a lot of grants too from the government. Yeah, so this was part of the Department of Energy Cold Climate Heat Pump Challenge. They were basically challenging manufacturers, how do we shift away from gas products towards electric products that are able to heat your home efficiently? Um, so we just passed the Department of Energy lab test um, a couple months ago. Yeah, and something else interesting about this product, we mentioned that it, it works really efficiently in cold temperatures. You might wonder, how is this different than our existing IDS lineup of products? We have what's called an enhanced vapor injection compressor. So this is a specialized compressor um, that's able to work in these extremely cold temperatures. I love it. But you may be wondering, what's this thing? This is an antenna. Actually, it works off of 4G, similar to your phone. Okay. Um, so the 4G signal, you don't need to connect to the home's Wi-Fi. It automatically is connecting to the cloud. It's sending information like, are there any fault codes? Is there anything that needs to be addressed? Also, how efficiently is my equipment working? As a homeowner, should I be you know, tweaking anything inside the home to oh, make like my that. equipment run better? The more we yeah. know, the better we get. Makes total sense to me. Yep. I do like this. Yeah. Very much so. To learn more about our solutions, visit BoschHomeComfort.us. Thank you for watching.